So, back to Sakura Angels. Let's see how our conversation with Hikari goes. Let's get her naked. As I said, we're going to branch paths now, so. Sayaka, I'm not sure if I'm going to get a lot of money. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a lot of money. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a lot of money. That's true, they are telling me broad daylight. So let's see. すでに私たちの知識や経験に反したことが起きている。うん。Goes against everything we know about them. He says dramatically and turns to resume watch over the school. Nice. I'm going to have to maybe say something to her, but a low rumbling sound cuts me short. Oh, she's hungry. She was without turning around, her ears clearly burning. Hmm. It was difficult to discern what the sound was, given that I saw no sign of any lunch out here at all. Well, let's give her some of ours. Have you、uh, not had lunch yet? That's that. Silence. I think I hit the nail on the head. Oh, yeah, she's very. Hmm, she's a princess, you know, she wants the perfect. Don't know what Saka can willingly eat down there. Hmm, that's true. Just a moment, bros. Had to check if we're filming. So, we're back. Are we going to be able to fight on an empty stomach? No, she's gonna growl again. Stomach girls again arguing against her words. Uh. Well, I got just the thing for you, baby. I'll give you some protein. Come here. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll stop. This is.、Uh. <laughs> a bit too much. I know the place can get pretty packed sometimes, but she's making it out to be something far worse. She really can't deal with crowds, I guess. I wrap the sandwich I almost forgot about and take a bite of it. Doesn't want to forget about lunch completely myself. Oh, and now she's gonna be like, Can I get some? Can't watch me in intently as I take several more bites, her eyes flicker at the sandwich every now and again. She doesn't wanna say it? Come on, girl. If you want a sandwich, you have to do something for me. I can barely read your eyes. I stop, made bite, and offer the sandwich her way, so I'm beginning to feel terrible for eating in front of her. And I think I've done. She might just snatch it out of my hands at any moment. Damn, she's a mean girl. I mean, a mean cat. And a cat, say. Do you, uh, want some? I can spit it if you want. Oh, I can spit it. <laughs> I guess I can spit it too. Her mouth hangs up and her. And her brow follows in concentration, I said to curiously consider it. I swear she's almost dropping at this point. She comes to her decision with an abrupt umph and tosses her head to the side, and her whipping along with it. I should have never expected that. Number two, so I wouldn't want something you've already slapped all over. Oh my gosh, she's rather s t a r v e Damn, you little bitch. Then. Girl, her stomach breaks for the food. Maybe a little. I'll give it from mouth to mouth, okay? I feed you like a bird. <laughs> a break of habit before she snatched away with reluctance. Tanome. I suppose. Danke. I think she's used to saying something like that. We're finally making progress. I can help her smile. Oh, she knows I'm thinking about dirty stuff. Well, since I gave you food, it's time for you to pay. You have to give me something else you've got. There's plenty there. Hmm. There's plenty there I can have from you. I know what you're talking about, but I'm sure it's something indecent. Girl, oh, come on. Trust me, girl. Me, indecent thoughts? Never. 
She says with her snow before she finally rips her chunk of the sandwich away with her teeth. Is it good? <sighs> She's not the worst, no. Why back at the academy I starts up her eyes widening some. She used to eat sandwich at the academy? I think she almost let slip something there. I really wish they weren't so secretive about all this stuff. The academy, huh? It's nothing. I'm pretty sure I heard. You heard nothing. Oh, snap. She's from an imperialistic academy that's right wing and tries to civilize Earth and enslave people to magical girls. I love it. Despite her smell frame, whenever she uses that commanding voice of hers, I feel about the size of a mouse before her. Oh, nice. She's dominating me. Oh, I like that. Okay, okay, I don't hear anything. It's, it must have been the wind or something. She said that she gets her hair a toss, then gives her suddenly as it had built. This is what the Nino does in Quintessential Quintuplet. She's like brushing her hair. Even Chitoge and Misekoi. We have to hold information just to be all mysterious, you know. Yes, you are. Could have fooled me. There's no point dragging into this mess if we can help it. It's not a life I'd wish on anyone. Oh! What? Expression doesn't if her mouth still works. No joke if her half the sandwich already gone. The academy is a bad place? Not even sure if she realizes she's eating at it at the moment. She spends a good moment to debating something in her head, but she finally wakes up with a serious eyes. What would you do if you were what? We were chatty students emerge onto the roof from the stairs, lunch in hand. He kind of clasps up the side of them and turns back to her car post. Hmm. What would I do if I were, like, trying to conquer Earth? Hmm. If you uh, say so. I sure looked important since it's, I don't think it's even given me a serious look before. Oh, just my life that all the times people would choose to eat here would have been to be now. In a semblance of conversation, we. May have had before it's well and truly dashed now. Feels a little more reserved in the presence of other people. Plus, I guess that we were discussed in wasn't exactly appropriate for the years. The sandwich was really nice, by the way. Huh? I don't catch that. Dark play comes to an end. Fairly normally. No crazy attacks, no monsters. I still shake the feeling something is watching me though. Oh! I lay down another walk home. It's night already. Oh, the demon girl is gonna appear again. Even the song is like, ooh, ooh, like it's something bad is gonna happen. My two guardians by my side. They seem noticeably more tense compared to the last night. After how close the fight was, I really don't blame them. We were lucky she didn't pursue us back then, or that could have been it for me. We'd have been spelled the end for. We'd have been. True. Okay. <laughs> the journey back is silent. Both the girls' first faces mirroring each other in a look of sheer determination. Yeah, they're very. How come I'm going home always during the night? Like, school doesn't end. Since I'm, I'm not in any club. So, school should have ended around 2 o'clock in the afternoon, right? Or 3. It shouldn't be this dark. Especially since it's the springtime, right? In Japan, years begin spring, right? in April with the sakura trees and blossoms I think so so it shouldn't be this dark when I go home <sighs> they seem ready to spring to action in the slightest sign of danger I want to break their concentration with mindless small talk gradually the sun sits on the route ahead so the lights flickering into life overhead one by one well if she's a demon of course she's gonna attack during the night that's when she's most powerful so walk home during the day bro Think smart. On your feet, bro. Great. 
The more the shadows begin to creep in all around it, the more tense I can feel myself become. I came to a stop. Something doesn't feel right. Yeah, I feel that someone's eyeing me. There it is again. The damn headache out of nowhere. Oh, snap. Wait, was there always been a pattern with these headaches? Attack is coming. This is my spider senses. There are hot bitch on the hot bitch on the block. My spider senses are going. They don't usually happen during the day, unless. Right on time. I know who she is, but I'll keep you hooked. You have to watch the next part to know who she is. Although you can read it, it's Yuzuki. But I'm not gonna show you the picture. So. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this path going. Alright, guys. See you guys next time. Bye bye.